Do you attempt to control people's minds? <laughs> um, I feel the only way to control a person's mind is to really feed them with their addictions. So what I see happening in day-to-day -day life around me is the television feeding the addictions of people, controlling their minds. I see the, you know, the news industry feeding the addictions of people, often their fears, controlling their minds. Now, if sharing anything with a person is controlling their mind, then I suppose you could say that's what I do. <laughs> but I don't, I don't agree with that. What I feel quite strongly is that sharing information with people is not controlling their minds. Controlling their minds is when you have a penalty associated with a person not following this particular information. Now, with regard to divine truth, there is no penalty upon a person if they do not follow the particular things that Mary and I teach. There are many people in our lives that do not follow anything to do with divine truth and yet we still spend time with them, we still see them during the day, we interact with them, we still treat them with love and respect and kindness. And so we continuously interact with everyone around us based on the principles that we ourselves teach. Now, that is not controlling a person's life. Controlling a person's life would be to actually tell them something and then to tell them that something is going to go very bad if they don't do it. Or, even worse, to have some kind of emotional blackmail that you place upon the person if they do not follow what you teach. There is no emotional blackmail that we can place upon a person without being out of harmony with our own teachings. All we can do is share the truths with others and allow them to make their own choices and decisions freely, however they wish. Now, if a person decides through their own personal choice to treat myself or Mary badly, and our definition of badly is that person gets angry with us or they get demanding with us or they get needy with us or they try to maneuver or push us around in our own life or they try to manipulate us in some way, then we will just say to that person, we don't want to have anything more to do with you until you're willing to change your behavior. And if a person doesn't change their behavior in 20 years, then we won't see them for 20 years because we just don't want to spend our time with people with that kind of behavior. That is, in our opinion, not manipulating a person. That is allowing ourselves to make a choice about who is going to share our own life. So in answer to that, this question, I believe strongly that we need to allow people to have the freedom of their own choices but when their choice is out of harmony with love of ourselves then we are allowed to say to that person we do not want you in our life anymore until you make a different choice and that's how we act with people now some people might call that mind control i definitely do not call that mind control i call that having a very strong viewpoint of what love is and also a very strong consideration and respect for other people and their lives, but also just as much respect and consideration for myself and my own life. We, I know that many people believe that hypnotism is a way of controlling other people. I do not subscribe to hypnotism because I feel that hypnotism is a way of involving spirits in a person's life and I would never do that. So, so I do not agree with using hypnotism in any way except with the person themselves knowing that they are actually allowing themselves to become open to spirit control and i personally do not agree with anybody allowing themselves to become open to more spirit control